I'm Bartiono. I'm the support for TCA UK. Uh, I'm Jamie Dutch Jones. Uh, real name is Johan Busting. I'm 19 years old and I play top lane for TCA UK. I'm Jake. I'm 21 years old and I play AD Carr for TCA under the name TCA Jack uh, I'm Harun. My in game name is P Dog. I'm 21 years old and uh, I'm from Germany and I play for TCA as mid laner in League of Legends. Hello, my name is uh, Morris. Uh, I'm from Sweden. I'm 22 years old. I'm currently a student um, and I'm the coach for TCA UK. My name is Nesker Swami. I am 19 years old. I am the jungler for TCA UK and we're here at I Series 56 in Somnia. Hi, my name is Luna, I'm 29 and I'm the CEO of TCA. I started playing video games when I was a lot younger and we started with Team Fortress Classic. We used to go to lands similar to, to this, a lot further down uh, south, uh, actually a lot smaller than this. Uh, and we started playing on 56k dial uh, on, on the internet competing uh, for really small prize pools. Um, more recently, in the last couple of years, uh, we got involved with League of Legends and um, we decided to turn this into a business. Um, when my wife got pregnant, we decided to take this a lot more serious. Uh, as we've got other businesses that we're involved in, we decided to invest more time and resources into here and turn this into uh, a viable business that we can show our son who is now born. But at the time, we just wanted to role model to say that, hey, if you believe in what you want to do, it doesn't matter what people say, you can go ahead and make it happen. As long as you believe and you persistently pursue and work hard at what you're doing, uh, you can make it work. Okay, TCA as an organisation, we've been around since 2012. Uh, we've been around for a while, but we've not actually had a lot of social presence. Mainly it's because of um, my poor leadership, I guess, uh, in the experience in that realm. Um, we had a lot of planning uh, in preparation for going into the organisation. However, uh, until you have a child, you never really understand the experience and the life changes that that, that brings to the table. We try to have a lot of work schedules uh, to, to commit into this. However, when the child was born, he was dictating the, the schedules. So a lot of our presence were, were, were missing from the things that we're doing. We're actively playing, we're actively competing, but people won't hear about us because we weren't really shouting from the rooftops. And it's something that we're going to be doing a lot more uh, moving forward. We're involved currently with uh, League of Legends. We have a Dota 2 team here. That's actually formed with some of our friends that we met at previous lands. Uh, and we're looking to expand uh, considerably further into 2016. For I-56, uh, right now, we have our League team. And I think our expectation for our League team is to head for top three. We are aiming to win of course, um, but our goal is to get to top three. Uh, for the staff, it's a bit more experience for live coaching, uh, live analytical skills, and at a live event they can actually see a lot of the things that they usually wouldn't get to feel uh, from online. So for example, uh, how the players are reacting, whether they're playing uh, when they're a bit too tired, or whether they're hydrated, dehydrated, there's a lot of more factors live than online that we can't see. Uh, and Obviously, we're spectating five screens live, so going uh, back and forth is a bit different than we're just spectating and moving the map around. So, yeah, we're expecting the top three place for, for League, and the top eight finish for, for Dota 2 will be fantastic. The guys with us, some of them have been with us for about a year, 18 months, maybe longer. These guys have become really great friends with us. Uh, we're very committed to them, just as well, just as much as they're so loyal to us. We want to help them succeed, and in doing so, indirectly, we will succeed. But not until we help them first, and it should be that way around. Uh, that commitment, I think it's beyond what we can actually physically describe, but if you ever come around us, if you ever walk around with us, if you come and join us where we go off to eat or something, you'll feel that aura around us that you won't see elsewhere. Okay, so I'm pretty happy that we're here. I'm uh, happy to see all of you guys again. 
it's very motivating to be in this spot for, for where we are uh, and where we're going to be going from here. We've had a long season with VSL and we're quite thankful that we've got P-Dog joining us at this event. Uh, quite last minute, but I, I think we're all quite pumped ready for this event. Uh, one thing that we really wanted to say is that from here, you guys have a lot of talent. Um, UK scene is growing, in my opinion, and I feel that you guys could be going much further than this. Okay, uh, so put the effort in, work hard. Uh, and, you know, the sky's the limit. Okay, so yeah, next year there's going to be a lot of changes, and I think one of the things that's really, really exciting for us is that I think personality-wise, we've got a lot of mesh in this team, uh, and I think we can go really, really far. After this, uh, whether you guys go to greater heights, we wish you the best of luck to. And I think in our time from here, we just want to be a better person. So we come into TCA and we become a better person uh, coming out of it, whether it's in the game or outside the game. Okay. Uh, we've been very thankful to have Lenardi and Moelf helping us and they flew in through, uh, through cross Atlantic now. They, they just flew in through, uh, from, from Europe to help us at this event. Marek's going to be helping us uh, uh, a lot uh, with the analytical stuff coming up. So I'm very confident that we're going to get quite far. Although motivation doesn't really come from external, it's more internal. Okay, so things that I say can only go so far, the rest is up to you. Uh, the only thing I can provide you with is the kit that we've got and I hope you wear it with pride, wear it with honour and uh, represent us in the right way. Okay. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. It was a bit of a long day to be honest. I woke up at 6, so it's now like midnight. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. It's been, it's been a lot of traveling though, so yeah. How did your exam go? The exam went well. It was the easiest exam out of the three, so I suppose that's pretty good overall. Um, to be honest, it's, it's good at the beginning, but now I, there's a, the realization that I have the hardest exam last is starting to hit, so uh, I'm gonna try to avoid studying while I'm supposed to be practicing, but the urge to study is actually there, so, yeah. How did you go the study at the game? Well, first year, I tried, in first year uni, I like, tried to, and it didn't really work. Basically, my first semester, it kind of, it kind of tanked, it was pretty noticeable, but um, second semester, I kind of got it down, I hit masters while I was studying, and I got good grades, and kind of legitimized it a bit in my parents' mind, so they were okay. They don't bother me as much about it now, so. Um, it's basically just time management, you know? <laughs> like, all that time spent on Reddit or on some other random uh, news site or just watching YouTube videos has to be cut down slightly, which kind of sucks, but, you know. And what are you studying? I'm studying mechanical engineering. I'm in second year right now at Harriet Watt. So, I'm in a, up in Scotland, Edinburgh.